helping explain the two steps you need to take in order for Carol to follow a function or to properly read a function. So before I begin and go into this code, I just want to remind you that quick docs on the side here, the lower left hand side of your screen, this is a great resource to check in on if you are confused about using functions. So again, the first step to using functions is defining the function, and the second step is calling the function. So what defining a function is, is you're putting this command in terms that Carol understands. In this instance, or in this example, here we have function turn right. Carol does not know what it means to turn right, but Carol does know what it means to turn left. And in this case, for Carol to turn right, that means Carol would have to turn left three times. Therefore, we have defined the function turn right as turning left three times. And make sure you have your commands inside here, inside the curly brackets. See the curly brackets here on line 11 and curly brackets here on line 15. So lines 11 through 15 is defining the function. Now that's just the first part. We also have to call the function. Calling the function would be here on, nine, on line 9. So we've actually taken the, the function or the command turn right or we've, and we've turned it into a command. So here it's written just like move or put ball. We have the open close parentheses and the semicolon there, just like these other commands. So now we have the command turn right, and this is called calling the function. This is known as calling the function. So again, we have the two step process for using functions for Carol. First is defining the function here on lines 11 through 15. And the second part is calling the function or on line nine. Make sure you do both of those things in order for Carol to understand the new function that you are creating for it. 